afternoon. Good morning to all. No, I'm Petit from Soli Luna, and I'm going to share my screen with the help of <laughs> Kelly. No, uh, I think when we talk about responsible tourism, for me, uh, it starts by being a responsible human being. Uh, and this is not just when we travel, this is on a daily basis. No, I, I don't like to talk just about responsible tourism. We have to be a responsible human being every day on the way we behave, on the way we act, on the choice we make. So for me, that's very important. So of course, I'm going to talk a little bit about the story of Soli Luna. Um, I'm sorry if so many of you maybe know it, you know, and then I would like to talk about Soli Luna, which I think is an hotel like no other. So I moved to the Sacred Valley of the Inca about 25 years ago. For my husband and I, it was a choice of life. Uh, we decided, let's see how I go down here. No, tell him. no. Uh, we, we did not belong at all to the tourism industry. I'm an economist and my husband is an architect. And uh, we were looking for a place in the world where to settle down, where to, where to create something and be useful to other people. So we, when we arrived into the Sacred Valley, it was not at all a touristical destination. Uh, Peru was just recovering from very, very complicated years of terrorism. But we decided that's the place. We started to get involved with the local community. We started to go to school, actually, every day, uh, my husband and I. Uh, and we then realized that we were quite useless, actually. You know, there was so much to be done that definitely it will take a lifetime. And that's when we decided, that's right, that's what we want to do, that's the place. And we created the foundation of Soli Luna. Uh, of course, we realized that, that we needed to invest into the foundation, we needed to invest into education if we wanted the work what, that we do uh, to, to give opportunity to the children. So a few years later, the hotel was created as a tool no, to generate funding directly for the hotel. No, no. Uh, I'm going to jump from day one to today. No, so today the Soliluna Foundation has four main projects. Uh, the school, the Soliluna School, we have over 200 children from three years old till 17 years old that study with us. Uh, we have more than 43 people working with us at school. And we always say school, and when the word school comes on, we all thought maybe about math, history, or whatever. For me, school is life. No? So when I take a child on, I take a life on, and it starts it start like embracing that child, you know, and, 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 and getting to, to love each other, you know. So school goes much further than math, science, and so on. Uh, we created a few years ago, uh, PACARI. PACARI, it's a center for children with disability with different abilities, sorry, no, and they, they do live, uh, you know, inside the school also. So it's all together. Uh, the last project that we created was the Soliluna Home. No, it's an orphanage. We have 14 living children, seven to seven. So they are our children. Sorry, I'm a bit positive, like our children. And uh, so that's, that's our children, no. And then the latest project, actually, you know, uh, this, the foundation has been following the past of our children, the, 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 the way they go, you know. So the, the little girls, well, the teenagers that you see on the picture, you know, so we go from Carolina on the left. Carolina started to study with her when she was three years old. Uh, she comes from an extremely complicated family, but today she's a 18 years old teenager. Uh, she's studying the International Baccalaureate and uh, she should finish it this year. And then she's going to go on to the university. So we do not stop at school. No, we go further with them. So it's our post school project. We did not find any, any different names so far. No, down on the right, you have Neri. No, Neri, she graduated from Soliluna. She then graduated with International Baccalaureate. And she's now studying in the PUCP in Lima, which is the best law university. And she's also being financed by the Soli Luna Foundation. So I just wanted to talk about those little girls. Well, for me, they are little girls because I know since they were little girls, no, but they are teenager, young women. 
And, you know, so many people throughout my life told me, Petit, you know, what are you doing? You know, you're just spending all your money. You know, you're just wasting your time. You know, you're not going to change the world. We have absolutely no pretension on changing the world, you know, but you change a moment, you change a day. But today at Soliluna, we see that the work that we started 25 years ago is working, you know. We see that those little girls, and it happened to be women, I don't know why, I also have boys, by the way, no, but we see that they have a different life thanks to all, you know, so that was very important for me. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about the hotel, no? So the hotel Soliluna, and yes, we call it an hotel like no other, you know. Uh, many of our guests, well, most of our guests, they come to Peru uh, for Machu Picchu. That's the dream, you know, they want to see Machu Picchu. And they come to Soliluna as part of the, 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 the trip that has been organized for them. Sadly, I would say that when they arrive at Soliluna, they don't know about the foundation. And uh, I, I hope that that is going to change, you know. I would really like that, that whoever is organizing their trip talk about what is Soli Luna, but they discover it on property. And you know, at the end, you know, very, very often, the part of the trip that is that they end up being most touched by, it's not Machu Picchu, it's the moments that they spend with the children at the foundation. Of course, Machu Picchu is amazing, Peru is incredible. If I wanted to, to do a presentation and sell Peru now, I would have many, many <laughs> words to say but there is nothing as moving as a human connection. So when those customers, they go to the, first they discover the story of Soluluna that they didn't know. And then, you know, they say, oh, Petit, can I go with you to, to visit the, the foundation? I say, yes, okay, and we go, you know. And it's, it's human connection. You, you touch their hearts, you know. And, and I'm, I'm always completely amazed, you know, you know at, the, at, the, at the point, at, at the compassion that is being created between with our guests, you know, when they visit the foundation. So this is, I mean, we've been living that, I would say, on a daily basis at Soli Luna. And, and I think, you know, those bucket lists, I'm not a bucket list person, you know, I'm, I'm a human being person. And I think people, when they choose a destination, of course, they know that they're going to go to Chinchero, to the salt mine, to Cusco, whatever they know, they're going to maybe have dinner in Central, in Lima. They basically, they know they trip before coming, you know, but when they come to us, you know, they, they, they didn't know about that, you know, so that's actually the best memory they take with them, you know. And I will say that happened with adults, that happened with children. Uh, I actually remember a little girl called Jessica, and I was uh, just before the pandemic, uh, she came on with a family, 14 years old little girl. She spent a full day at Pacari, which is the Center for Children with Disability. She was so moved, she went back home. She created our own crowdfunding campaign to raise funding for, this, for the children, you know. And uh, I don't know if any of you work in crowdfunding, it's very complicated, you know. 14 years old, and she got to the, the target, you know. So I was like, wow, amazed, you know. Uh, many, some of the guests that you see on the picture, uh, those, they, they just came as guests. As I said, they discovered a the foundation. They said, Petit, please, we want to spend time with you and your family, you know. So I take them on the day with me. They can't sell whatever activity they had, you know, the biking, the horseback riding, whatever, you know. And we went on to connect. Today, they are part of our family. They are part of the Soliluna family through the sponsorship program, you know. So it's not just that, it's an emotion of the moment it goes on, you know, when they go back home, you know. And I even have, I even remember a guest that worked in the industry that when she came to Soli Luna, she decided to change a whole business model and worrying to use only hotel that have a true connection with, with local community. So this is just a few examples, you know, but for me, th that's life, you know. I dedicate my life to the children uh, I also dedicate my life to the hotel, of course, it goes, it goes, it's, it's, uh, it's together, you know, but the heart of Solinuna, it's what's behind, and it should not be behind, it should be in front, you know, and, and I think in, in the world of traveling today, you know, uh, of course, not slowing down, you know, taking time to, 
to, to connect, you know, not just rush, 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 visit it, visit, you know. And uh, this is also my way of traveling, you know. And of course, I've been traveling a little bit less the past two years. And the peaks that you can see, uh, the one of the top actually, they are from, from Marrakech. Uh, well, not Marrakech itself, but uh, most of us go to Pure. And uh, we are in Pure Week actually. So I escaped for the meeting of Pure to be with you today. I'm super happy. But any trip that I would do, uh, and most of them are with my daughters, you know, uh, there we, we go and we go to schools, you know, we go to connect with the people. Uh, the photo below is in uh, Indonesia. And the same, you know, I've, I've extremely privileged to do those trips and the best memory from those trips are those connections, are those schools that I visited and that I'm still in contact with, with, with as of today. So I, I really, I'm sorry that I'm so emotional, but I always think that everything starts in our heart, you know. So yes, let's be responsible. Let's travel in a different way, but not just when we travel. Let's do it every day. No, so that's what I wanted to share with you. And uh, well, I always share my annual campaign, you know. Uh, it's been, uh, as we know, a very complicated two years here in Peru. The hotel is, of course, reopened, but I think we have very little guests. Uh, we've managed to save the, the foundation for us, the, 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 the most challenge, no? Of course, we need to save the hotel, but we cannot stop what we're doing, you know. We cannot say, well, the children, they go back home, they go back to their street or whatever, you know. So thanks to everybody, we got to the target last year. Uh, we still have our campaign on for this year because unfortunately, the hotel is completely unable to help the foundation today, you know. And it is probably going to be our reality for quite a few years, you know. So, if you can share our content, I'll be very, very thankful, you know. And I do think, no, no, how can we together improve the life of our community just by being a human being, you know, that's what we are, you know. We're not here on that on, on that earth just to, 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 to purchase, you know, just to have beautiful things, you know. I think we are here to have beautiful moments, you know. So that's, that's a little bit of my life. Wonderful, Pitti, as always, uh, quite powerful to hear you. We can truly connect and feel your emotion. We feel it as well. And obviously everyone who's here connected feels strongly about doing the right thing, about making travel as, as well as part of your own life, but also reflecting that into your travel behavior. And that's, uh, that's very powerful. I think what we're discussing here, we're discussing new mindsets at the end of the day. And um, I guess uh, it was very interesting how you ended your presentation with a question, right? Because I guess it's always about the question. We don't necessarily have the, the, the answers, right? So I just want to hear um, anyone who feels like opening the mic to place the question. I guess that's also very important for us uh, to make questions together or to, you know, to raise anything that... Uh, that came after petite words and uh, perspective. Petit, thank you very much. I'm, I'm taking the, the lead here. If anyone wants to join after me, you're always welcome. Uh, I, I, first of all, I wanted to comment that you put in words something that I, I totally agree, that you already know what you're going to see uh, when you get to a place. Uh, like Machu Picchu or every in anything else, but the surprise are the first are the, the people that you connect. So I think that's why you actually uh, that, that's the memories that we bring home. I wanted to ask you about when you touch those those uh, the, the children's life. How does that reflect on the family? Uh, do, do you see that connection between uh, the the opportunity their children are having? and what they, if they change any, in, in any, any way? Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's another topic, no? Uh, definitely, we work with families, you know? It's not just that we take the child, you know, and then the family is not part of what we do. No, it's a, a family, you know, including their mom and dad. Uh, we try to start working with children as young as we can, meaning three years old, it's much easier, no? When they bring us a teenager, uh, 15, 16, it's already done in a way, so there is very little that we can do. Uh, 
for the family that choose to give us their children, it's a sacrifice. No, it's a sacrifice to say that from Monday to Friday, the children will be with Petit at Soli Luna. Of course, they will study, they will be fed, they will be loved, you know, but they won't be with their mom and dad, you know, they won't be helping them, you know. And most of our children come from, from countryside, you know, and the family, uh, even with all respects, you know, uh, the, the children, they have a role in those family. Maybe they look after the animals, uh, maybe they look after whatever, you know, so they have a role. So it's a sacrifice for the fam from the family. And it's also a sacrifice for the children. They won't see their parents, you know. Uh, the, chil uh, the children, sometimes uh, even at the, at, the, at the home that we have, you know, uh, they, well, some of them have no parents, but the one that do have, they, they see them maybe two, three times a year. That's all, you know. So it's a choice, but it's a very difficult choice. But we work with them, you know. We work with the mom and dad. Sometimes it's shocking with them because all often, you know, they start to speak English, you know, and they stop speaking Quechua, you know. And how do we maintain that they still speak Quechua, you know? How do we maintain the connection with the with their family you know so yes we, we all that is being taken care of you know but it's a challenge i see and <laughs> we don't even think about that we see like the the, the good part of it and uh i can imagine how how hard it is to ha handle all this stuff but i'm glad there are some people like you doing things like that i'm just gonna uh share also that gisela uh, from Big Five says so she's thanking you for all the all you do for the children in Peru, where she's from. So that's it. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Gisela. And you know, you know, uh, something that I always want to share. You know, uh, what I do for them. You know, I think what I receive from them is no comparable to what I do. You know, uh, I don't know. You know, you well, you go on a trip. You know, and. And you have that amazing trip and, and you feel with joy or happiness or whatever. I don't know the name of those feelings, you know. But it is not long lasting, I would say, you know. It's like when you purchase something, you know, or you go for a great dinner. You have that great dinner. Why? Wow, that's amazing, you know. But then the day after it's gone, you know. When you work with people, you know, not only children, you know, when you work with people, you know, the connection that you establish, the, the, the human connection, you know, fills you with with love you know with energy and this I can feel on my life you know that I receive that from all my children and they are really the energy that I need to go further you know so I receive far more from all those children Gisela and you know it Gisela that's wonderful and I and I really liked how Steve uh, hacked sort of the, the, the three dimensions, right? Like as a buyer's perspective, he really hacked the educational, the emotional impact as PT is really bringing here, that how that reflects to the guests and, mm -hmm. um, and the educational impact, which is basically what Hakea was gonna bring uh, to us today, which is obviously the third level. Or I'm sure there are other levels, but basically uh, there's no way of de deconnect, disconnecting those three layers. So, um, and, and I reinforce that we will uh, continue this conversation because there's a lot to be spoken here inside our hub. So everyone who is here is going to be hearing from me uh, about how to follow even the presentations and the link that Petit sent, I'm going to send it over again so that people can click and, and look it for more carefully. Uh, so I thank you again, Petit, for all your love and, and your sharing. Uh, and it's always a pleasure to hear you. And